On this Friday, July 17th, for Global Trails Media, Tano TV, and KRIM Radio News, I'm Randy Roberson. Well, the Payson Police Department is hoping you may know something regarding the whereabouts of a Payson man who headed out without his critically needed medications and hasn't been seen since. At 1 a.m. yesterday, Larry James Hauser left his home here in his 2019 dark gray Ford Ranger with a possible destination of Oklahoma. The truck had license plate OKV14092. Larry is 80 years old, is 5 foot 10 inches tall, and weighs approximately 206 pounds with gray hair and blue eyes. Police report Larry is diabetic and left home without his insulin. If you know anything about where Larry Hauser might be, you're asked to contact the Payson Police Department at 928-474-3288. Well, in other news, yet another fire is burning on the Tano National Forest. The Boulder Fire is burning on Highway 87 at milepost 214 on the east side of the highway. This is approximately four miles south of the Bushnell Tanks turnoff. At last report, the fire was five acres in size with 0% containment. It's burning in the large island of unburned fuels in the Bush Fire vicinity. Now this is a new fire and is separate from the Bush Fire, and that fire is under investigation. The fire is burning in steep and rugged terrain off of the highway and has a moderate rate of spread. One 10-person initial attack module and five engines are assigned to the fire. Fighting wildland fires at night in steep terrain exposes firefighters to unseen dangers. Crews are engaging the fire where safe and accessible. At this time, there are no threats to any structures or communities. Officials say if driving through the area, please use extreme caution as multiple fire crews are working along the highway. Highway 87 is not closed at this time. However, lane closures may be associated with that fire. Crews will remain on the scene and continue working towards full containment of the Boulder Fire. And just as a reminder, there are Stage 3 fire restrictions currently in effect on the Tano National Forest. Now those restrictions include forest closures and they're in place to prevent more human-caused fires. Well, in other news from our area, The folks with Gila County Emergency Management would like to extend their deepest gratitude to the Umatia veteran crew with the National Forest Service. This military veteran crew of wildland firefighters stopped by the self-serve sandbag station in Tano Basin recently and braved the 100 plus degree temperatures to fill sandbags for the residents of Tano Basin. And they want to say thank you for your hard work for our community and for your service to our country. Well, those sandbags are expected to come in pretty handy soon. After more than 190,000 acres were scorched, the Bush Fire ended up being one of the largest wildfires in Arizona history. Now 100% contained, the burned out forest and blackened hills raise a new concern. Jarrett Rogers, a meteorologist for the National Weather Service in Phoenix says, wildfire that big is really going to modify the soil and really enhance the route that flash flooding will take any time we get any heavy rain. The burn scar from the bush fire could make those areas more susceptible to flooding. The National Weather Service is concerned about the potential for flooding, especially as we start to see more thunderstorms as we head deeper into the monsoon season. Rogers said some of the areas that we're really concerned with are like Tano Basin, areas along State Route 188, and then State Route 87, as well as up near Jake's Corner, Slate Creek, and some of those areas. So it's a pretty large area that could potentially be at heightened risk for flash flooding. Well, the National Weather Service is working closely with other agencies and partners in the area to assess that flood risk. Rogers said, quote, Typical thunderstorms that we may not issue a flash flood warning for in other years, we may have to be certainly more cautious and concerned about the potential for flooding with that and some cases that could cause us to be a little more aggressive issuing flash flood watches and warnings. Well, and in rim country weather, according to the National Weather Service, the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms are going to be with us each afternoon through the weekend at least. Now our best chances in the state for storms are going to remain over near the White Mountains 
but we do keep some fairly decent chances for local storms in the forecast for right here in Rim Country as well over the weekend. By the way, it also looks like we may have an uptick in monsoon activity possible around the middle of this coming week. Meanwhile, daytime highs here in Payson should stay around the mid-90s at least through the weekend, with overnight lows right around the mid-60s. And that's a look at what's happening in Rim Country. For Global Trails Media, Tano TV, and KRIM Radio News, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Friday.